Thank you to Current for sponsoring this video. Hoi, happy Monday. Can't do a British accent very well. I have a story to tell today because it's going to be a trip. The past few months, um, I have been fan casted in a Harry Potter fan fiction. Now, don't get mad at me, but I've never really seen the Harry Potter movies or read the books. I think I saw the first one when I was really young, but besides that, I know nothing about the movies. I did go to the Wizarding World of Harry Potter at Universal Studios, and I enjoyed it there, you know? I think it would be much better if I knew a lot about Harry Potter. Again, I haven't seen the movies. I'm going to soon. My main association with Harry Potter is my my first commentary video I ever did in January, I talked about shifting in Harry Potter. A lot of people got upset at me for that because, you know, I talked about how I personally believed it was unhealthy for kids and how I don't think it's real. We can all leave that by the wayside. I know I'll probably have some Harry Potter fans come to this video. Please give me the time of day, you know? We might have differences in opinions, but at the end of the day, you can do what you want to do and I can do what I want to do. And I respect you for that. Epic respect moment from me. And I really do appreciate when somebody finds something that they, they love and know everything about and can, you know, make that a part of their personality and who they are. I don't really have something like that, and it's kind of sad. That was just more of a personal thing with myself that I wanted to, you know, open up to you guys about. That really has nothing to do with today's video. But anyways, let me get back on track. Harry Potter stands on TikTok have fan casted me for, I believe it's a fan fiction called The Marauders, and I'm gonna dive deeper into what the fan fiction is later when I want to start researching my role, because I, I do have a role here, but it's basically some Harry Potter characters when they were younger and some of their adventures And I think they all have sex and stuff. So today I want to do research on my fan cast See what it's all about and figure out if I'm really meant for this role because a lot of people truly believe that this is my calling and if it's my calling then I might as well quit YouTube and start working towards this ultimate goal of being James Potter in the Harry Potter fan fiction, The Marauders. You heard that here. My character that I was fan casted as is James Potter, Harry Potter's dad. And listen, I know nothing about the character because I've never seen the movies. I'm pretty sure he was only in like a minute of the actual movie, but let's start out by watching some of the TikToks that talk about why I should be James Potter and see what people say about it. Let's take a break, sing this song. This one goes out to all the ones I love in Anthem. Don't ever stop dreaming, your day will come. And I hate the banks, yes, you do. Hidden fees always complicate. Wish I could take away the BS. All of the numbers made me depressed. What is this? There's a solution. Let me clear away the confusion. Thinking on your cell phone, I don't gotta leave home. I just need current. Tasty like an ice cream cone. Checks early, spending insights, cashback points, maybe book a new flight. Everything you need now. I ain't gonna think how. Guys, current gives you the technology to create something that is yours with one simple debit card and their easy to use mobile banking app. Just go to current.com slash Nick is not green to sign up now. Peace and love. First one right here. Happy Pride Month to all of you from Nick, aka James Potter. Happy Pride Month, guys. Uh, this month I will only be responding to comments if you're gay. I mean, look at these comments. No, because James would do this. 2,000 likes. This TikTok itself is 11,000 likes. His James energy is too much for me to handle. Yeah, he's definitely James. I'm so excited about this fan cast. Please, I love him. He's literally my favorite James fan cast. I mean, I don't know anything about James so far. I just watched a clip of myself saying something. But I mean, so far, this is looking good. I've been converted to fan casting James Potter as Nick is not green. I think they have it backwards. I think it's fan casting Nick is not green as James Potter. But who am I to correct the Harry Potter scene? that are giving me this amazing platform. He's a good fan cast. My absolute fave James fan cast. Please don't make them aware of being a fan cast. It always goes downhill. They already know. That's right. I do already know. But guess what? I'm embracing my true calling in life, which is being an actor in a Harry Potter movie. The fact that he accepted it too makes me love it even more. Yes. Now, here's the thing though. I hope we don't run into this issue as I look through these, but... Some people are against me being a James Van cast because of my past comments about shifting. But listen, I can put that behind me. I can just pretend that we can, we, that's all water under the bridge. We can just pretend it never happened. If that stops me from being James Potter, 
I'll be a shifting supporter. What about this one? When he's rich, pure blood, who befriends misfits, and is also a DILF. So uh, here you can see a lot of pictures of me, but then you also see this sexy fan art of James Potter. Kind of looks like me. He's got a cigarette in his mouth. And then you have this photo of James Potter, I believe, holding Harry Potter and kissing him on the forehead. POV James Potter. So this one is just me talking, I guess, with music behind it. You can't hear what I'm saying, but I guess it's my general mannerisms and who I am as a person. Maybe my aura that makes me James Potter. I've only ever said I love you to two men men my entire life. Stone Cold Steve Austin and a guy in a dark club who I mistook for Stone Cold Steve Austin. That's me, what? baby. James Potter. Okay. I could see myself working with him for sure. Okay. Yeah, I could see myself working with him. Yes! I don't care about the rest of these people. I just want to make sure that I am still James Potter. Okay, Marauders Fancast 20 to 24. Not, yep, there I am. That's me. I could see myself working with all these people. I work I work well with other actors. It's something you guys don't understand about me is that I'm very synergetic, which means I I I've never really acted in anything before, but I think I could make it work for this. I also don't know how to do a British accent very well. But we can figure that out. They have people that help you figure that out. Me after killing everyone who likes James Potter more than Severus Snape? Yeah, right. Yeah, okay. This is not the take that you thought it was. Yep, I agree. Ooh, no. Nope, you're wrong. Stan James Potter for clear skin. James Potter is a massive bully and deserved to die. Yeah, I don't know anything about him, but that's, that's not true. No, I can definitely say that's not true. Keep your fucking mouth shut, you lying little abortion! Yeah, I don't, I mean, I don't know, I don't know if I'd, do, you know, go that far, but I'd say that, yeah. I don't know who that is. That guy doesn't really seem like he'd be good at playing James Potter. I'm sorry. I know James and I just feel like that's not really the vibe that people would want to go for, you know? I just feel like I'm more, you know, in line with the character. Come on, put me in this one. Put me in this one. Put me in this one. I've seen a lot of this guy's Remus. Okay, I could work with that guy. Yes! We're back on track, baby. We just be like, oh my god, Crollo so hard. And then this is Crollo. Come on. Is that Moose Potter? Why'd they call him Moose Potter? I know James, he's not a moose. Okay, come on. I can get this one. Okay. No, wait, no. That's no, that's not me. That wasn't me. Someone in the comments better back me up. My James Fancast is Dev Patel. If anyone can take James Potter from me, I'll let Dev Patel take it from me, okay? That James FC is perfect. If I could downvote, can I report this? Um, yeah. Report me. Thank you. Not completely sold on Trey as James. Okay. Is anyone gonna back me up in the comment section? Ugh. I feel like I'm losing my freaking roll of a lifetime right here as I sit here and watch these. Okay. Peter Simp. Please hurt me. Oh, where am I? I don't see any James yet. POV, you ask a hot person who their favorite James Potter fan casts are. Hot person. Maybe. Come on. But that I'm guy looks friend. like me. See? Doesn't look like me. That doesn't look like me. Nope. No thanks. Bye bye. Where am I? Where am I? Yes, I personally like Nick. Nick is not green on YouTube. 223 likes. I'm not going to look at the replies because people start saying bad things about me <laughs> once you look into the replies and then I feel bad about myself. Nick is not green as mine. That's a like. But hear me out. Nick green. Yup. Please, Poppy. Nick, it's you. Yup. Mm-hmm. Yup. Nick is not green. Poppy, please be. Why do they keep calling me Poppy? I like that one YouTuber guy. Nick. That's me. Thank you. Mine is Nick is not green. Nick is not green. Guys, please be James Bond. Nick is not, Nick is not green. Nick is not green. Look at all these people. I'm the people's champ. I'm James Potter. Not these guys. Some people just don't understand the character. They don't understand what the character was meant to be. You know what I'm saying? So we've looked at the material. We've seen what the fans want. And obviously it's overwhelmingly me. I'm the choice. I'm James Potter. That's me. So now I want to study the character, figure out what he's all about, figure out what Marauders is all about. And you know, move into our next phase. Time to study. HarryPotter.fandom.com slash wiki slash Marauders. I feel like that's the best place to start. The Marauders were a group of four Gryffindors and classmates. Okay, first of all, I gotta figure out if I'm a Gryffindor. <laughs> I mean, obviously. What is the best Harry Potter house quiz? Never equate a silly online test spitting out random results to the incredibly powerful magical sorting hat, which reads your mind and sees your future. I don't really think anything Pottermore assigns you based on a seven question quiz is in any way accurate. 
it. I suggest you choosing which feels suits you best and use wizard more to achieve those whatever. Right, let me just go grab my magical hat that can predict my future to tell me which house I'm a part of. I'll use wizard more. Sorting hat quiz replica. Dawn or dusk? I'm obviously a dusk person. Which pet would you choose to take with you? Tabby cat? Siamese cat, ginger cat, tawny owl, screech owl, brown owl. I want a cat, okay? I want a cat. I know I want a cat. I'm going with ginger cat. Which of the following do you want to study? We got centaurs, we got goblins, goblins. Which of the following do you find most difficult to deal with? Hunger, cold, loneliness, boredom, being ignored. Being ignored. I mean, I'm a freaking YouTuber. Once every century, the flutterby bush produces flowers that adapt to their scent to attract the unwary. If it lured you, it would smell of probably fresh parchment. Which road tempts you most? I'm gonna say the twisting leaf strewn path through woods. Black or white? I'm gonna go black. Come on. What am I gonna get? Am I seeing that right? Yeah, no, this quiz is bull crap. This no, some stupid online quiz is never going to draw you down the path of what the actual sorting hat would do. So it's just kind of dumb. Anyways, let me get back to studying. Four classmates, Remus, Peter, Sirius, James. The four attended Hogwarts. They had a knack for rule breaking and mischief making. They would go on to fight in the first wizarding war and some in the second. They were also participants in the Order of the Phoenix. I know that's one of the movies. Let's just look at the members. I don't really care about all this stuff. I want to figure out what James is all about. James Prongs Potter. This doesn't look much like me, but I assure you he was more attractive when he was younger. His skin wasn't so pale and white. He only lived to be 21. Okay, so whatever. I don't understand. I think it's like an alternate universe when it comes to the fan fiction stuff. They called him Prongs. He and his wife defied Lord Voldemort three times, but they were forced to go into hiding after a prophecy was made concerning Voldemort and their infant son. I want some fun stuff. This is all boring history. Personality and traits. He was a clever and talented wizard, but very mischievous in his youth. He was arrogant and boastful, and occasionally bullied and jinxed other students just for fun, particularly his longtime rival Severus Snape. Yeah, but he's a good guy deep down. You know, he's a good guy. Magic abilities and skills. Animanga. James was able to become an animagus at the early age of 15, an incredibly difficult, complex, and even dangerous transfiguration that only the most proficient can accomplish. So he can turn into a into a moose? I know James, he's not a moose. That why they call him moose? Look at him. That's why they call him Moose Potter. But that's cool. It's not weird. So listen, let's move past this and get to the final part of the video where I read a fan fiction where I am casted as James Potter himself. Now what I think I'm gonna do is read this and then maybe find a scene where I can act it out to kind of give a sort of reel to people who want me to be James Potter. So, you know, I can get a call and figure out what exactly I need to do to start acting in one of these films. So we go on this new website, my favorite website now, it's called archiveofourown.org. And this fan fiction is called The Look of It by City Night Pigeon. And right here, you can see first cast, James, Nick Green. Nick is not green. Conan Gray will be playing Sirius and the rest of them, whatever. I I don't know. I'm the one. I'm the lead character. What is this? What are these names? Is Prongsy Boy? Is that James Potter? Because his name is James Prongs Potter. And what's Moons? I don't know the nicknames. Let's just skip forward and see if I can find something. Chapter two. Cher deserves all the love. So as we can see, there are some Snapchats going back and forth between these characters. Am I? Is Jamie me? like james and then it says dog and wolf i'm so confused oh here we go james potter has requested to message you lily evans has accepted your request james potter and lily evans okay this is me hey sorry i just wanted to check this was you and then lily goes ye it's me hi james oh okay great so this is just text this isn't real acting but first i just want to get a feel for what's going on okay so then they're sending snapchats back and forth to each other marlene anyone want to come to brecky with us lily yes i'll come also good morning and then i immediately come in and i say Already in the call where we meeting and then Conan Gray is just a little too intense for me, but you know, it's fine. I can work with him It's me and Lily Evans texting. It's me. Hey, Lily. Hello, James. How are you? Lily? Well, how are you? Me? G. Then she reads my message doesn't respond. Then I go Beth this was yum. Lily goes. Yeah, no, it was nice to see everyone 
me we should go again it seems like she's not into me but that's fine i don't need to be like the perfect character or whatever so this is another thing between me and lupin remiss screenshot what the f do i do she hates me lupin says she doesn't hate you me she's so cool like i can't lupin i don't want to burst your happiness bubble but she's being a bit cold she's a little mean but like i didn't mind then things continue to move on dude i'm freaking the f out it's been five minutes the lupin says well did you actually do anything i go did not ask her out lupin says no then lily sends me this half ass text sorry i was just finishing something yeah i know for sure anyways what are you up to then i go to lupin she responded eek so i seem like a little bit of a simp boy who doesn't really know how where the boundaries are you know i'm falling for this girl she's not responding to me and that's not good i'm supposed to be like an alpha right i want to get to an acting scene you know where i'm in person and i can really put on a performance so it seems like in this scene, they're talking about how, uh, how Lily wants to throw a party and how I say I'm free. And so I think we're all going to go to a party at 7 p.m. on Saturday. So let's get to the party scene. And then maybe that's where I can kind of show off my skills. Okay, me, I go, oh, I'm so nervous right now. Sirius goes, it's fine, Prongs, you'll be fine. And then I go, but what if I say something dumb? You always say something dumb. Okay, that was uncalled for. You still coming? No, I this message me. He's got banned, so I'll leave you guys. James, you're gonna be fine. Okay, trust me. Good. Don't growl at me. What are you wearing anyways? Then I send a picture of a Snapchat, which is a screenshot from a TikTok from a while ago. I was worried you were about to send me that minion fit. What are you mean? This one? Please tell me you're not wearing that right now. No, I'll just send you a pic. How much do I have to read before I can start acting? I found another fan fiction that has me casted and I want to see if I'm able to do some acting in it. Okay, so we can see the casting here. This is called Falling for the Moon. A Remus Lupin love story. Your name's parents. Your name's twin brother, James. So I play your twin brother. Okay, here's me with my big ass head. Mature content ahead. So... Keep that in mind. This is my scene from Falling for the Moon. Apparently the first scene is a train ride back home and I have a few lines in it. And so I'm going to see, you know, what I can do in this scene. So you look out the window peacefully as you watch the green glades fly by. I'm your twin brother and you and Hufflepuff Annabelle Tuffin are talking and apparently you've been best friends since your first year and you're having a nice conversation. I'm gonna skip past some of the intro conversation let's get to the part where they start talking about me of course oscar continues his defense i landed in the pool can you blame me the potter's manor is huge and james was coming back from his shower i still saw a bit of james though and damn he winks as Anne throws a bean at him that's right guys i'm super buff joe make me super buff Impressively catching it in his mouth, the bean that is, Oscar chews it proudly. His face retorts into a disgusted expression as he says, Ew! Oh Merlin, what is this? Wet dog? Laughs can be heard from outside the compartment, causing a certain group of people to hear. Wink wink. The door slides open and James' head pops out. Hey, what, uh, what is happening in here? Yeah? Oscar got a bad bean. You laugh, clutching your stomach. Oscar relaxes a bit, putting on a flirty face. Why, hello, James. Fancy seeing you here. James' panic look was enough to set Anne and your name off into a laughing fit all over again. He does this every time. Flirts with James just to get on your nerves, though he's never gone on a date with anybody. You're not coming to our house, are you? James shudders at the thought. I can be anywhere you want me to be, James. He wiggles his eyebrows. In that case, please stay at your own house. Tell that to your father. He's always at my house. Oscar mumbles. Hmm? James raises his eyes eyebrows. Oscar, hush, you tell your friend. Oscar rolls his eyes. Fine, you're not my type anyways. How am I not your type? What is? Where's your long-haired friend? Oscar puts on his stupid smirk. James glares at Oscar as he warns, You stay away from Sirius. So you're not off limits. All right, then, he says while smiling. What do you need, James? You butt in before your conversation can escalate. I've come to tell you mom and dad are going on a trip to Western Europe or somewhere. I don't know, so the rest of us are coming over. You can invite some friends over, I guess. Just make Oscar promise to stay away from us. Your name looks at Oscar. Do you promise, Oscar? He rolls his eyes and says, I promise, Merlin. I'm not that bad. Oscar rolls his eyes as your message messy haired brother walks away. Scene, baby. Was that not awesome? Watch that back and try to pretend like that wasn't a real Harry Potter spinoff movie. Thank you for watching this video. Hey, share this video with your best Harry Potter fan. Soon I'm going to be watching all the Harry Potter movies and I think I'm going to do a review of every single one on my second channel. Please smack that subscribe button. No, 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 no. Please, uh, Lemgardian Leviosa that subscribe button and, um, and 
for non coolest that notification bell for more videos every Monday. Check us out every single night on my daily stream at twitch.tv slash nickisnotgreen. Patreon.com slash nickisnotgreen if you want to check out the monthly sticker club. Follow me on Twitter and on Instagram at nickisnotgreen. And join our Discord. I'm going to leave a link down below. This week's Gamer of the Week is Anna Z. If you want to be the next Gamer of the Week, just leave a comment down below. All right, I'm going to poof out of here. Evanesco. Shout out to the patrons, tasted like a breakfast, yummy eggs and bacon, yeah. Gotta give what they deserve, say a couple names in the fold of the verse like Alex Craft, Izzy Hunter Ford, bleep bloop, striking down Doom Caddy with a sword. I ran up on Riley Burr when I went up to the bank, but Millie, David Lee, and Karma Crip just kinda stank like, huh. Thank you to all the patrons, appreciate all the kind support for everything you do. Everything you piss and poo. Haha. Uh -huh. Have a great week. Uh -huh.